Welcome to the Southwest Barrels Report, coming to you from the Positivity Posse Corral. We promise to bring you news that is fun, uplifting, and spread good news throughout the barrel racing community. We will also be giving you updates on upcoming races so you can plan your next great winning run. This show is brought to you by SouthwestBarrels.com, your home for everything barrel racing. Now here's your host, Vinny O'Hare. You know, that guy from New York City that took like a million photos of barrel racing last year while battling dehydration and sunburn? Take it away, Vinny. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. It's been a hot minute since we've uh, recorded anything. Um, we just came back from the NFR up in Las Vegas. And I basically went to see some power races from AZ and uh, All In, which was kind of fun. My first time being in that arena at the Orleans. It was really, really nice. Watching, I watched the finals of week number two. It was about 185 riders, and they had the All In qualification before that, which was very fun. Uh, something I always wanted to do, see an indoor arena race in Vegas. I just never had the opportunity. I'm always uh, doing a barrel race somewhere else. So it was nice to go up there. Uh, what brought me up there is actually Debbie and Liz adopted a military family. And Debbie handmade them blankets. Very, very nice blankets. I'll put a link in the uh, pictures. So I had to drive them up to Liz because Liz is taking care of sending out the, all the stuff that she got for them for Christmas. Which is really, really cool. Uh, our next race is this weekend... Uh, December 16th to the 18th, NC Dream Productions, Chase Your Dreams, the second annual Memorial Trailer Race. Uh, it's really cool. Somebody's going to win a trailer. That's awesome. Uh, it's a three-day event. The, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, it's broken up into two times. Uh, the first race is at 1 o'clock, and the second race is at 7 o'clock. And then on Saturday, it's... Uh, Saturday and Sunday, both races are at 2 o'clock. They had to move the date because there was another race in the area around the same time. So they accommodated all the people. So I'm going to have some sort of $20 package for our regular customers. Uh, it's really been picking up since I've been back shooting races. That's a really good good thing. I have people just like automatically say, just just put me in. Uh, if you're not familiar with the $20 package, it's 20 bucks and... You get at least 20 photos. I say 20 for 20, but it's really like 40. If we're outdoors on a clean day, it's 75, somewhere around there, uh, which is really, really cool. You get to see you running full steps and every single thing your horse is doing underneath while you are actually on the horse that you can't see. So you can improve your run. And we had a rider a couple of weeks ago uh, do the $20 package, and the next week she studied and ended up winning the whole race. She went like three, four hundred bucks. So that was cool. That's happened twice actually in the last two weeks. So that's kind of cool. I'm looking to set up the packages. Uh, since it's a three day event, it'll probably be just be the regular twenty dollar package, twenty dollars a day. I probably won't offer the twenty dollars package for the nighttime version because it would be too much Photoshop to uh, do that. So we'll see. Uh, if you're going to the race. Come see me, and uh, we can make that happen. Or I will start an event, actually, on Facebook where you guys can just chime in the comments that you want the package or not. And then you can just meet me at the race, and we can take care of that. So speaking of the races, uh, next year we're really going to be going hard with the live feed with sponsorships. Uh, I have a lot of businesses that have been asking, but I don't really have an automatic setup where the companies can... Uh, Send me their graphics automatically and all that. I have to set that up. Um, so we'll see. But we'll be going hard in the paint with that next year. What's really cool about the live feed is I tell everybody, you know, my years of experience of New York uh, working in the subway. You can put an ad up in the subway and, you know, people look at it and all that, but they have no way to track it and no way to really uh, measure the analytics of it. But with our live feed, since it goes out to Facebook and YouTube, and the links live there forever, so that's really, really cool. Uh, you get a link to your website, an actual clickable link that people can actually go to your store and 
visit your business or whatever you got to do. So that's that's really cool. And like I said, that lasts for years. So we'll uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely be working more with that. Uh, one of the things about the NFR that I liked, I walked around Cowboy Christmas. And I'm going to be doing some sort of wood workshop when we get settled in here. So I'm going to be interested in making some stuff that I can have at the races to sell. Little uh, little trinkets and stuff like that. Well, we'll see. I have a few ideas. I don't want to really spill the beans. But uh, you'll see it probably. That'll probably start February 1st. That's what I'm thinking. So I just got to set up a little workshop to uh, make stuff. So that's what's happening here. That's our last race of the year is this weekend up in uh, Queen Creek at Horseshoe Park. The NC Dream Productions race that I mentioned. So it should be fun. Get your entries in if you uh, haven't. I'll put a link in the podcast to the race too. So there you go.